Draw with Jazza did it. King of Random did it. And now I'm gonna do it. Cause why not? Okay, so I used a lot of hot glue. Like a lot, a lot. But this is gonna be using a lot of hot glue and it's not gonna be putting something together. It's, it's gonna be making something and that something is a shape and that shape is a humanoid that will be doing some sort of pose. I haven't really figured it out yet. I'm thinking it's gonna be like some sort of crouched warrior pose or something. You can't see my feet, so it doesn't really matter. That's my plan. But either way, I think that this is something that anyone can really easily pick up. So I mean, if you have a hot glue gun at home, I encourage you to try something like this just because it is really cool and it is really rewarding to see something like this pay off just because, boy, does it take a lot of time. So yeah, uh, let's just get started. Okay, so, so far we are basically finished with the overall structured pieces. So here we have the legs that we made earlier. Then we have uh, the head, the little ball. And basically there is these two arm pieces. They are curved just because uh, that's the position that I'm gonna put them in.
And now for our new segment, Cooking with the Craftsman. And this concludes Cooking with the Craftsman. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. So I actually really liked how this turned out. Uh, I don't think that was ever going to be able to get it to a level where it was going to be completely clean and smooth and everything. But basically, the point of this was just to show that you can make weird stuff out of any kinds of materials. And it doesn't really matter uh, what it is or what experience you have. Three days ago, I didn't even know I could do this kind of thing. And this was just something I whipped out and I learned how to do with just a little bit of dedication and a little bit of hot glue. That's basically it from you guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.